Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Black Operation One, and welcome to the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. You guys are thoroughly enjoying the series, which I'm glad, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. So, the last episode we got our first junker, our first junker, sorry, our first car from the junkyard, and uh, the that beautiful piece of specimen work. Oh God, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot you can't look. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't turn away from the car when examining parts forgot about that but yeah so anyway if you enjoyed this episode please smash that thumbs up button if you're new and or whether you're not new and you just come over to view my content regularly like a lot of you do please please smash that subscribe button you know do me a solid and uh, do that you know and uh, it would, I would appreciate it you know and the rest of the community as well so yeah anyway 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 let's get to today's episode so as you can see I am currently examining my first patient, okay, my first car here. This is our, well, another mission car, and main, main story car, sorry. Uh, hi, it's me, Johnny Johnson. Remember, I've visited you soon after you opened up the repair shop. I see that business is good. I hope I can take partial credit for it. I was very satisfied with how quickly you work, and I thought you could use some advertising. Okay, going back to business, I have a terrible case here for you today. I snapped it up cheap from some kid. I think we actually read this. I can't remember if we read this, but I'm going to read it again anyway. He wasn't really aware. It just seemed familiar. What he was driving and how much it is worth. But his lack of interest in the car is pretty obvious. Please take care of the bodywork and the interior. This car definitely and needs it while you're at it check the clutch and suspension elements i have doubts about them do what you have to do but don't go overboard uh come on hurry up thank you it's supposed to work and look acceptable but i don't want to go broke i still want to make some money from it i hope we're clear on that see you right okay so we have johnny he's back here he's brung this skyline which it is a skyline i don't care what dev team say well you know what i mean by the car is called you know a rib sand star line so that's obvious as well in the name you know all uh, right what have we got to do so we got obviously engine problems we've got to replace some body parts we've got to change oil and then just do the usual with the other fluids within the car so what we're going to do is how much uh do we have any money to spend for engine stand on one engine stand that's what we need two grand i say we buy that i say we start with that uh no we don't scale points okay right oh and by the way uh skill points as you can see i've been working my way up yeah you don't need to do that okay so say for instance like this one all right so the runner be fast by six percent um if i wanted to go buy that one straight away or you know learn that one straight away i can i don't need to work my way up okay so if you've unlocked a nice cluster so say you've been working on your you know fast hands and you've unlocked say strength and you want that one and you're running on one you can purchase that without yeah if you as long as you've got the skill points you don't have to buy them going up but as you can see with this the bonus it actually adds up to it so if you've got that move move fast by two percent and then you unlock straight away that one to move faster by 7%. That there is basically just going to be 9%, yeah, of movement speed. But if you purchase them all, it adds it all up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you don't need to go in line like I have been. Right, so now we have the engine crane, which we are going to move. Not yet, anyway, I've got things to do before I do that. But yeah, we've got the engine crane and the engine stand, which is going to make working on the engines so much freaking easier. Believe me, it's going to make it so much easier. It means we can take the engine out of the engine bay. And work on it outside the car instead of having to worry about things getting in the way. Which is freaking awesome. You know? This is what I love about this game. You know, it takes a while to get to parts, you know, get to certain equipment and tools to use to make your life easier. But once you unlock that, you know, a little bit of grind work to unlock them. And yeah, you're just going to have a blast, you know? Absolute blast. And it just makes life a little bit easier in all honesty so anyway let's get this engine out on the stand and then we will strip the engine down get this engine running smoothly and then crack on to the second part which is going to be the bodywork uh it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look too bad i'm hoping the internals are going to be okay i know i could have tested with the internals but what we'll do is we'll repair what we can see I'm hoping, like I said, it is just going to be external stuff, but I'll, we'll repair what we can see, so all the external stuff. And if need be, we'll get it back on the 
on this the in uh we're getting oh I can't even talk. We're getting back in the car. And we'll see if we can fire it up and do some tests. And see if there's anything wrong with the internals. Hopefully, like I said, the pistons, piston rings, the uh, rod caps and crankshaft bearings are okay. We could always flip it over on the engine stand here and uh, take off the oil pan and have a quick gander inside. Could do that. Might be the easier way. Actually, I might just, I might just do that. That might just be the easier way of doing it. Okay, so let's flip the engine over. Let's take a look inside. See if all the uh, con rods, pistons, uh, rod caps, and the crankshaft and bearings are okay. Uh, they look pretty alright. They look alright. Can't really check for piston rings unless I take them, you know, the pistons out. It's just going to be a little bit more work. So I'm going to put the oil pan back on. We're going to repair the parts. That we took off so far. We can get the engine back into the car and do some testing whilst it's in the car because then we can you know test for compression, etc. etc. That will give us the readings for the pistons and the piston rings a little bit better. Um, yeah, there's not much we can actually repair, so a lot of it is very damaged. So that means we're gonna have to spend some money out here. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's go here. Alright, so we've done the camshaft. No, we haven't done the camshaft. What camshaft did we do then? I don't know, but we need that. We need that. Power steering. Uh, we need oil filter, so let's get that. Unfortunately, I can't access the freaking tablet whilst um, working on the engine. I've got to come off the engine for that. Let's do camshaft and power steering pump we need an oil filter as well we do need some more stuff but my brain's not fully functional today you know i'm recording early usually I record late and uh, yeah i'm usually awake by then <laughs> i haven't been awake very long i just got up basically uh, jumped straight over here and said right time to make some videos Okay, so we're nearly done here with the engine rebuild of the parts we, you know, we know need fixing. Like I said, I've got the test for for internals. Like, oh no, 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 nearly, nearly, nearly done a boot. We nearly bought or spent more money than I should have. Bought the wrong item. But yeah, we've got the test for, like I said, pistons and piston rings and stuff. But we'll uh, do that was when the engine's back on the car, whilst the engine's actually in the car, so to say. Buy these last two parts. We need belt tensioner and we need a fan. Let's walk around here. So all the timing is done then. But like I said, everything that is visually wrong with this engine is uh, being repaired. It's up to scratch. Hopefully, we shouldn't have no problem starting the vehicle. At least that would be nice, wouldn't it? You know. Gotta send this thing over to the uh, send it over to the car wash. I think let's get this thing cleaned. Let's get this done. Right. Okay. Car's cleaned. It's back on the ramp or the four. No, it's actually a two post lift, not a four post lift. But never mind. Uh, it's back on the lift. Um, I would like to mention though that someone, this this is a great hint and uh, tip by the way, but uh, someone put a comment, um, unfortunately I can't remember the name, I will, uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I like that, it's, it's early for me, alright, early for me, so yeah, brain's not awake, 
But um, as you can see, there is stars next to the list. So if you come, obviously, to your, your, your job, the job that needs all the issues, the, your, the job at hand, the issues that you're fixing, you've got stars next to each job or part okay, that needs fixing. Okay, now if you click this, click these, it will highlight the part actually on the car, as you can see, like that. Yeah, which is great for if you struggle, you know, if, you, if you're sort of new to the game or struggling to find a part. Um, yeah, this is a very good way of finding it. I don't really use this because of the principal fact this just takes the fun out of it. It's like now I know exactly where the parts are. I ain't gonna hunt around the car or, you know, whatever. But yeah, no, it's a fantastic way of finding parts from new people. Especially new people to a car, you know, if you don't know where things are on the vehicle. Never played TMS before. Uh, it's a great way of doing that. So I definitely suggest using that if you want to. Right, so uh, there you go. So drive shafts are done, bearings are done, <coughs> cough done. Uh, we got obviously to drain oil, we do all the fluids at the end, I always do the fluids at the end. Right, let's move on to the bodywork now. So we're on to the bodywork. We do need really another. Uh, oh, we got a new skill point as well. Nice. As well, we have skill points of four. We're going to buy the ability to. Uh, expect value, which is, I mean, think that's meant to say inspect value, but yeah, the arriver. We're gonna get that one. So now, when we go to view a car, we can see what the value actually is of that car. Okay, so we ain't gonna guess, go, oh, this dude is Jimmy, yeah, just, just whatever. Alright, um, I should really kind of draw a list of the parts needed. Right tail light, uh, rear right tail light, and that should be all the body parts purchased for this car. And as you can see, we are scrimping here for money. I need a license plate as well, which is <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, this car for the body just this. Yeah, I'm just buying random plates by the way, because it doesn't really matter. There's no um, what's the word called consequences. There's no. Nothing in the job description that has to be certain plates, so yeah, just buy random plates, they're all cost about the same. Right, so it should be the body completely done, and yeah, it just <laughs> it's just way too much money for this car. Luckily, we do get it back, so yeah. Right, let's do the fluids, that's the last thing we need to do here. Okay, so all the fluids are done. I send this back to Johnny. Make sure everything is done. Change oil. Oh, I didn't refill the oil up. Okay, so not all fluids are done. Gotta remember the oil. You know, sometimes I forget to take the oil out. Sometimes I forget to put it in. It's just... Yeah. True genius at work here. True genius. Okay, so we're all done now. <coughs> um, let's send back to John. Should be all done. Nice. See, 22k. Beautiful. Now that's better. Right, now we have some money. Right, so on to the renovation project. We have some parts here which can go on. Um, we did the engine last time, or in the last episode. We couldn't start it because of the principal fact um, we have no fuel intake on this thing. You know, no fuel tank, no fuel pump. And to be honest, this engine is a state. But again, we're we're flipping it for money, right? We're not we're not trying to make this thing the beauty it can be. We're just trying to make profit out of this thing to spend on better vehicles and so far we're at 6,000 profit which is freaking fantastic but we do need to buy a fuel tank um, we could go just to the, to the junkyard get all this but in fairness I've been a few times and still have not found any fuel you know fuel tanks there at all so they seem to be Pretty much pain in the ass. The RNG doesn't seem to be given to me, and I bought a fuel pump. I already got one. What my? What are you? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? This far, we have a spare fuel pump, I suppose, for other vehicles. But anyway, let's see if we can actually start this bad boy up now. No, we still can't start it up. So yeah, the engine quality does matter, I suppose, unless I am being a complete idiot and I have forgot something. 
which I don't think I have. No, I haven't. There is nothing here forgotten. Okay, let's have a, let's just do. Sorry, I'm just being just pondering. Just pondering because um, it should start. Well, ignition coils. Maybe that's why. Looks like we have an ignition coil gone. And ECU. Okay, so let's do ignition coils. And maybe it's the ignition coils, but the s yeah, because I use scrapyard spec ignition coils, don't I? I don't think the fuses matter. The fuses is new. I've not, I, you know, I don't know if the fuses affects the starting of the car or no. It's a brand new mechanic to CMS, so could do, could not do. Actually, I better check to see if I have a starter first. I might already have one. No, I don't. Okay. So let's go starter. If we're going to replace fuses, we're going to replace fuses. This is what it is. But it could be the starter and the ignition coils that are causing issues. Let's go one more time. There you go. So yeah, it's just the ignition coils and the starter. It might just be the starter. But, uh, so engine block, we know. Pistons are a bit shagged. But... We've achieved what we were, I was hoping to finish off with. Just getting the engine started, yeah? Rock and rolling, which it is. Okay, so we can we can replace the fuel filter. We can get that done. Um, let's get the fuel filter. See, little things like that. They're not too expensive. See, 30 credits, 30 dollars, 30 pounds, whatever you want to call it. So we can get that in, that replaced. Uh, no, that one, thank you. And uh, yeah, so apart from that, the engine starts. Yeah, that's a bonus. Okay, so let's move on to the next task at hand, which we're going to concentrate now on getting this a road, basically a rolling chassis. So we're going to concentrate on brakes, we're going to concentrate on the, you know, getting suspension put together. And then I think we're actually kind of done. In a See, this one said brakes are pretty simple because we have the brake lathe now. And brake pads are pretty inexpensive anyway. So again, if you this is just your first time here. What I'm doing is basically trying to get this car um, not... Well, sort of roadworthy in a way, I suppose. I wouldn't really call this room worthy, but you know, just trying to get it so we can make some money out of this without putting too much money into it. You know, we're trying to flip this car for profit. And bro, if I actually purchase the two items I need, so we've got axle and a brake caliper. You know, I say we should have cylinders. To be honest, we should have had a brake caliper as well. Um, the sway bar, lower suspension arm, I don't think we have any of those two. Okay, so front's done. We've got the front up and running, suspension's all done, wheels are on. Looks tidy-ish, I suppose. <laughs> you know, it's not the best looking car, but it... It'll do. It'll do. It'll, 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 yeah, it'll get a job done, right? It'll get a job done. Okay, we need wheel hub bearings. Yep. This is why it's always best to try and keep parts from other cars. In a way. I think I do need brake pads. Yeah, I do need brake pads. So let's go. Rear shock absorber. We'll get two of these because it's going to be both the same. Brake pads, we need two. Um, not in the tie rods. Did I not put the wheel bearings on? Yeah, I did put the wheel bearings on. You know, last episode, when I mentioned about cleaning this up or keeping this clean, or I think it was last episode. Um, I'm not really sticking to that, am I? Let's get rid of it all, so I know what I'm actually doing. I'm getting confused myself now, like, because I'm not doing what I suggested to do. Contradiction. You know, runs high here.
Right, so we have the wheels. Nope, I don't want that wheel on there. I want the shitty wheel on the front, thank you. So I'm going to put the shitty wheel on the front, two new ones on the back. I've spent way too much money on this car. I don't want to spend this much. I'm trying to make as much profit as I possibly can. But, uh, yeah, it means we've got to make an extra four grand on top. So the car better come in at about 20k to resell. <laughs> better come out at about 20k. Well, we're about to soon find out, anyway, okay? What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? As best as we're going to get it. Unless we obviously take parts off, refurbish everything, make everything all shiny new, which, don't get me wrong, I would prefer that. But for making money wise, it's going to have to be. Right, we're going to buy a couple of body parts though. We do need to buy front, left headlight, and fender. Here we want this one, left headlight, and itchy chin, left fender, where's the left fender? Fender, there you are, thank you. Headlight and fender. And that is it. I think that's the only body parts we were missing. Okay, now I haven't got the spray booth unlocked. Do I? No. And I haven't got 15k to put into the spray booth. But we're not at 20k. We're not at 20k. We still made a lot of profit. We're on 1200 profit. But is it going to be enough, guys? I don't know if it's going to be enough, personally. Do you know yeah, yeah, it should be alright. Yeah, just we're going to call it. We're going to call it like it is, alright? So let's drop this car outside. Because I need to get a nice screenshot. So I've got the before, and then we've got the after. I don't like it being multi-coloured, but it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so there you go, guys. It's not the best looking car, but it runs. Yeah, it runs. It's all put together from what it was. It's just a... I wish I had the spray booth, so I could spray at least one colour. Do I... <clears throat> Do I have the... We unlocked the... No, we haven't. How much is the welder? Five grand. It's more money we're going to spend. Oh, I love flipping the first cars because... Yeah. On one of these, I don't know if there's anybody out there who's like me, but on one of these, I like to spend... When flipping a car, I like to spend as little of my cash as I possibly can um, to make the money back. We're going to need it, so let's just do it. Let's just do it, okay? I'm doing it. Yeah, I've done it, right? So, we bought the welder. So, basically, the welder... With the welder, means you can repair the chassis. So, you know, you can repair body parts, for instance. But some cars, like, you got the rear quarter panels here. you got the roof, side skirts. And then, all the little bits in between. Okay, that's what the welder repairs. It welds all that, and, like, the chassis cleans up the chassis, etc., etc. Right? Cost you 500 the time to use. But what, right, so what we'll do is I'll show you the difference. So we're at 11729. Let's use it. I love the animation of the welder though. Just look at that. That's new. It never was in that, okay? Let's have done moving that back. But as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner now, yeah? A lot cleaner. And now we're at 15649. So we haven't made much profit or money back from welding but we've made enough now to give us a resale of 20k which means we're going to make 20,000 on here which gives us about 33,000 which is enough to buy one or two cars and uh, go from there so we're going to sell this car now okay i moved the car outside because i had to take another photo i took a photo with it before the welded so i had to, I had to take another photo okay so we're selling bye bye car so long so long moon Bye bye. Right, so we have 33k now. And there is one thing I want to do to end this episode off, because again, I'm over time. But I want to go and we want to explore the barn. Okay. Okay, so welcome to our first burn, burn find. No, barn find. And there's an Evo there. Hmm. Okay. Definitely interested. So, if you're wondering what's the difference between a barn find or a barn compared to. Oh, hello. Tempest. Um. 
Oh my god, there's actually a lot of... This is a freaking fantastic first barn find. Or our first barn ex... You know, whatever you want to call it. But this is fantastic. Some great cars here. So, obviously you do need a barn map. You need a map of the barn. Or location. Barn location. Map. Yeah. Oh, oh, and there, oh, and there, oh, and there. That is definitely coming down. Actually, that'll come down as well. Yeah, there's no freaking. There's there is doesn't look like there's going to be a crate, which sucks. Um. So yeah. So I'm interested in the Evo and the Supra. I well, actually I'm interested in all three. Okay. And we could. I think we can afford. All, not buying all three altogether, but I meant we can afford... No, okay, we can't afford the Supra. Right, so we're back at the garage, guys, and you're probably wondering, hmm, what did I buy? Um, let me tell you. Okay, it was a hard decision to make, but, uh... I got the Evo. I had to get the Evo. Okay. I'm a lover of Evos. And... Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> it's a freaking Evo, basically, okay? I know there's a lot of you Scooby-Doo lovers out there and they're probably detesting me right now. But we all have our personal preferences. And this is one of mine. <laughs> anyway, let's clean that up. Let's see what colour she actually is. And she's white. And she looks rather sexy as a white. With a black bumper okay detail it yes please but yeah anyway guys um so we got the next project we got an evo as the next project or i do apologize a hinata kagura sx and uh i hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that thumbs up button and uh subscribe and hopefully the next episode will be better <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed touch would be better and well next episode i think we're just going to be completely working on this um might do might do or we just stick to schedule which is going to be story and uh renovation we'll see we'll see how i feel but anyway guys thank you for watching until next time have fun keep gaming and i'll see you in the next video bye bye